We finally made it to 2023, so today I'm going to take some time and talk about some of the games that I'm most excited for this year. First up, we got Diablo 4. This game takes place after Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls with the main antagonist as Lilith. Now there's five classes that's already been announced, Barbarian, Sorceress, Druid, Rogue, and Necromancer. Now honestly, my first time into Diablo was actually with Diablo 3 on Xbox, but I never got around to finishing it. I always wanted to go back, but this one, I'm, I'm excited to go into it fresh and hopefully day one. I did play a little bit of Diablo Immortal and I hope, hope that this is nothing like that because I eventually fell off because of all the pay to win mechanics and things like that. But I guess we'll we'll see. Hopefully they're, they're able to pull it off since it is a full release and this comes out in June 2023 this year. Next up, we got the most wish list game on Steam. That's the day before. This is an open world MMO survival set in a deadly post-pandemic America overrun by zombies. This game was originally slated for 2022, but it ended up being pushed back and converted to Unreal Engine 5, which is why it's releasing later this year. The world looks really interesting, honestly. I think it looks like an advanced version of DayZ and a little bit of Division combat combined. But will it actually be like that? I don't know. I really hope it, it is. But my biggest hope, honestly, is that it has some sort of questing system, some sort of guide to it in a way to get you progress, because a lot of survival games, they kind of end up falling flat for me. But either way, I'm still excited. This comes out in March 2023. Next up, we have Like a Dragon Ishin. It's a game set in the 1860s where you play as a samurai named Sakamoto Ryoma. Sorry if I butchered that. And you venture into Kyoto to search for justice and clear your name. Sakamoto turns out to be a real life person, but it's actually being portrayed in the form of Kiru from Yakuza or the Like a Dragon series. I've always really enjoyed the Yakuza games ever since Game Ranks and Jake Baldino introduced me to them. So I'm really excited to see how this game is, especially with the different setting compared to the most recent Yakuza games and also being turn based as well, which I still need to get around to, but I will eventually. How is the combat going to work as a samurai compared to the previous games? I don't know but this comes out in February 2023. Next up, we got another highly anticipated game, Atomic Heart. We've seen this this game all over the place for a while now. This game has been highly anticipated by many, many people. It's sort of a Fallout slash Bioshock mix with a hint of Stalker vibes, in my opinion. It's filled with technical monsters and superpowered robots all over the place. The Russian and English versions of the game seem pretty interesting. The English voice acting I've heard can be a little bit iffy, but I'm I'm going to wait until we see the full game in itself. It's a first person shooter, so it the style in it for being that looks really interesting. And either way, I'm excited. This comes out in February 2023. Next up, we got the game that I never expected, but I am pretty excited for, which is Hogwarts Legacy. Now, as a non Harry Potter fan, I'm actually very excited for Hogwarts Legacy. This game is set in the 1800s and you create your own character and explore the school of Hogwarts and outside of it. It gives you a very interesting and throwback feeling to like the bully games for the classes. It looks like they're going to have a ton of mini games and it looks like the combat is actually turning out to look pretty interesting. They recently did a developer interview and showed off some of the combat and also some of the base building, which I think looks pretty cool. So either way, I'm very excited for this game. We'll see what it actually turns out to be when it comes out in February 2023. Yes, another game in February. This next one I'm very excited for, which is Suicide Squad. The next game from Rocksteady, and it's actually set in the Arkham universe. We recently got a video that showed that Kevin Conroy will actually be playing Batman in this game for one final time. And so that in itself is going to be very touching to see him portray Batman for the final iteration. This is supposed to be a third person shooter co-op game with a very rich story that is taking down Brainiac controlled Justice League. I'm very excited for this game and I hope Rocksteady can pull this off, especially being a different style game with this being a shooter compared to how they did all the Arkham games. I guess we'll, at the end of the day, we'll see but i'll keep a close eye on this this comes out may 2023 next up we got starfield the next big game from bethesda i've been a huge fan of the fallout and elder scrolls games for a while now and this one is actually set in space with tons and tons of different planets you can go to different factions and supposedly it's going to have the most dialogue they've ever done before they actually just recently updated their forum page and apparently this game is coming 
coming out sometime in the first quarter of 2023 now. So it's not too far out from the time this video going live. Next up, we have Jedi Survivor. This is the follow up to Jedi Fallen Order. It's set in the Star Wars universe once again with Cal Kestis playing it as I believe right after Fallen Order ends. I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm really excited to see where this one goes. We just recently got a glimpse of the gameplay mechanics and even a, a little bit of story for the next game at the Game Awards. From what we've seen, it looks like this game might have a darker tone to it. I personally would love to see a hint to Starkiller. I know, I know it would be crazy for canon, but just even a little Easter egg or something in there. I always really enjoyed the Force Awakened games and Sam Whitmer has been an amazing actor just especially with playing days gone recently absolutely love him i don't know we'll see this comes out in march 2023 and we are down to number one with that being spider-man 2 this is my most anticipated game for 2023 of course because it is the follow-up to insomniac spider-man's miles morales and the previous spider-man game this takes place right after miles morales ends and we'll hopefully be seeing my favorite character in marvel Venom. Who else will be in it? I'm not sure. They gave us the Sinister Six in the first game and that I absolutely love the story in both Miles and in Peter Parker's own. Are they going to actually give us the symbiote suit this time around? I love to see that. I mean, we're getting Venom, so I feel like we can expect that, but they did say the first time around when they came out with Insomniac Spider-Man that if they're going to do the symbiote suit, they're going to give it its own game because it is that impactful. So I really hope we see it in this one. Either way, this comes out in fall 2023, and I'm beyond excited. So those are all the big games coming out this year, but there's one more coming out on PC that I'm very excited to play as well, with that being Last of Us Part 1 Remake. This is the story of Joel and Ellie. The very first time I ever played this was actually on my PS4. They did remake it. It came out on PS5. A lot of people had some issues with the pricing on the game. I still agree that it was a little bit too much, but it's finally coming to PC. I'm very excited to see how that game plays with mouse and keyboard. The combat, reliving it and seeing everything in its full graphic update is going to be a lot of fun and I'm super excited for it. And that's my top 10 list of most anticipated games for this year with a little bonus of Last of Us Remake. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of other games that come out later this year. I might do a part two sometime, like maybe halfway through the year if there are that many new announcements, but we'll see. For right now, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for any of these or if there's any others that you know that are coming out this year and you would like to just talk about it. I hope you guys enjoy this types of videos because I hope to do more throughout the year. That's everything I got. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.